Hey guys, Nathan here, and I'm one year and one week on testosterone. So today I've got a full comparison video for you guys. It's comparing all of my tea changes up until now, so if you didn't watch my other videos, you'll be getting the updates from there. But I would also appreciate you watching them too. <laughs> but nonetheless, we'll get on with it. I have a list of everything that has happened, and... That sounds probably pretty annoying, but we'll get straight into it. As we do, we'll work from the top to the bottom, so we'll get started with irritability. So, at the start, when I first started on gel, I noticed a bit of a change in my irritability, so I got a little bit more irritable, and then for the first one to two shots after that, it would spike a little bit after it. Otherwise, it's been pretty much the same since the start. In the first two weeks, I got really tired and I had a few hot flashes throughout that period, which was not fun. My body was trying to adjust, so it was only pretty short though, just two weeks, so that was an interesting time. <laughs> In the beginning I noticed I was hotter, it's sweatier, that has not changed. Another thing, my hairline. You can't see in photos really because the baby hairs before were so white, but they've gone like this area here, there was all baby hairs all up to like here and now it's just there's nothing there. So basically just all the baby hairs have gone. Now acne is an interesting one for me because most people when they go on tea their acne gets a lot worse. For me after my first shot I got acne on my jawline so that was more of a sign that I was going to get facial hair there and then I would get it on my shoulders and back. I didn't really get any acne when I was in the gel Otherwise, on my face and that, like, my skin's probably gotten a bit better because my skin beforehand was very dry, so that's why I had acne beforehand, and it's kind of leveled out my skin a bit, so that's actually improved, which is a bit weird considering most people get more acne on tea. A funny little thing I noticed around, like, in three months, um, I got some nose hair, darker nose hair, so that... It's a change. Didn't really change after that point, but I did notice it. <laughs> then we have facial hair, so that's been quite a big thing for me, I think. Around the three month mark, I was getting like peach fuzz stuff, like on my chin and my burns. I already had a slight peach stashy thing, but it was starting to get more dense. At six months, my peach stash got even more dense from the three months and then my chin hairs um, actually got quite a bit um, well not quite a bit darker but there was like three hairs that were darker and thicker and then my burns were just a little bit darker they were kind of the same texture though around the nine month mark I got more darker thicker hairs um, especially with my chin the chin was the best part to be honest my stash didn't really change past six months it's kind of it was my favorite thing and now it's just kind of stopped <laughs> it's just kind of sad this is the saddest little stash and now the chin hairs have taken the glory and then from nine months to a year there's been some hairs in between these two patches that i originally had that have come up and then under my lip there's a couple as well that have come up and then even getting some more like well, not more, getting some on my neck as well, so neck beard coming up. No, I will, I will trim that shit. Next we have face change. I don't know when that really happened. I'm guessing between like three to six months, but I can put up some pictures of each of those. So like pre-T, three months, six months, nine months, a year. That's a lot of photos. Tell me when it changed because I don't really no. So the thing that everyone gets excited about, the voice drop. So that happened around four to five months on tea. I got a bit of a cold and then my throat was sore, but like more sore than, or like a different kind of sore. And then it just wasn't, didn't stop sounding sick. So it just dropped instead. Hey guys, Nathan here and I am one day on testosterone. One month, two months, three months, four months, five months, six months, seven months, eight months, nine months, ten months, eleven months, one year on testosterone. Next we have vascularity. So I got around three months. I noticed veins started to pop out a bit more. I never had veins that popped out ever. 
It also kind of grossed me out, but I don't mind it now. Then we have things like the Adam's apple, so I don't really think other people can notice it, but I can notice that something did happen with this area. Only like the tiniest little thing. And my shoulders and arms did get a bit thicker, I think, or a bit bigger, because Early on, my shirts started to be pretty tight around my arms and shoulders, so it did change a little bit, and also the shape of my bicep muscle became a bit more rounded or thicker, so that was also something that changed. I hadn't really done much working out this past year, so I didn't see any actual substantial changes, because you have to put in the work yourself. Don't just expect testosterone to do it for you, you have to put the work in to actually get any muscle mass if that's what you want. Now hair. Hair is a big thing for me, moderately a thing. Some people get a lot hairier than me, and I thought that I was hairy and some people don't get as much, so I feel like I'm more in the middle ground. So I have major tum hair, like so much, and around six months on, I started to get more thick, longer thigh hair, and around three to six months, I was getting more back fuzz as well. So that's the thing that you don't really want. Next, we've got the um, bit TMI kind of things. So. If you don't want to hear about them, then go. Um, the first one's just the, the blood thing, so that's not that bad. But basically, around three months, I was two weeks late, and then the next one after that, which was around my six months, it was just two weeks of spotting, and then it's been nothing since then, so that's really good. And then now we'll get on to growth. So growth was an interesting thing for me. So growth is usually one of the first changes that you'll notice or most people notice. Those first three months were hell for me when it came to that. It was so fast with the growth and it was painful because of growing pain. And it was also very sensitive, but it was also, because it was growing, it was also growing and then rubbing on things around, which really <laughs> hurt. But then after like three, four months, that slowed down quite a bit and then it became a lot less sensitive and painful. The size didn't really change from three months onwards either, so it went from like, I couldn't even see it to start off with to like, maybe like a thumb or a finger, like that top part of it. So that is pretty substantial from like not being able to see anything. Then there were also some changes that I didn't really notice at all and things that didn't really change. So one thing was appetite. My appetite didn't change. A lot of people have a change in appetite where they get super hungry or they need to eat a lot and I didn't really have that. Eyebrows, I feel like my eyebrows were already thick so I don't think there was really that much change there. My hair, like the actual thickness of my hair, like it's the same. A lot of people, they have their hair starts to come out a lot and they get really scared and worried that they're gonna go bald, but that didn't really happen to me. And my body shape has stayed pretty much the same. That's mostly because one, didn't do anything about it. And two, I already had, I'm like, like a medium weight. I'm not a skinny guy. I've got a little bit of chub, so it's not really going to change very easily. It's quite... it's pretty much the same. So I think that's about all for this update. I won't have uh, another update on testosterone for a while unless something happens, but I really doubt it. Also, did you like my new intro that I made? It was... it's pretty crap. <laughs> but it was my first attempt at trying to do an animation for my thing rather than just having what I had before. I hate when there's people that have intros that are like 30 seconds long, like I don't want to see that, it's like too much. Is it a good intro basically? Let me know what you want to see from me, I do video, photo, trans things, and if you like the video leave a like. So subscribe if you're interested in any of the stuff that I just mentioned before and you want to see more from me, and I will see you later.